paddling out to the reef, about 40, 50 meters at the moment. And I am the, the sounder and the chart. Quite a few tracks uh, overlaid on the chart anyway, and a couple of, of waypoints that I've set in relation to interesting like, features. And, as I mentioned in the other video, I think some of those features are the band of lobster bricks looking at the shape of the moon in the sander. Beautiful and calm, there's a little bit of residual swell from the southerlies that we've had lately. Nothing in the ward and the forecast is looking decent, so we'll see how we get on. It's just about slack water at the moment, high tide. Don't expect much to happen on this reef over high tide unless you really work your lures. So I'm going to take a leisurely paddle out to my mark and then hopefully get there just in time for the ebb tide to begin and some frantic fishing. But we've just put the sounder on and I can see a lot of what I assume is, is mackerel in the in the upper quarter of the, the water column and then a huge shape you know a bit like when you watch Wicked Tuna and you can see the sonar readings that they're getting they, they can see tuna rising up and, and feasting well I've got that kind of activity going on underneath the shoal of mackerel so there's hopefully not a seal but there's assumably stuff feeding on the shoal of mackerel let's see if we can get through the shoal of mackerel to start with and uh, see if we can find out what that might be. There's a seal just popped up in front of the kayak, blew his nose at me, and has dived back under. So I've just pulled my lure up in case he takes a fancy to the soft plastic body of my fish lure. At least I know the sound is working. So we've moved over to Todd Head. So there wasn't much tide happening. Fish minnow sand deal, and I've hooked what I will assume is a small one. Hit me in mid water, it's not fighting like a macro. She is. Ah, oh. oh, and it's off. Bastard. It's a fish shark. I can land this one. Aye, yeah, just bump in a saw. because we weren't moving so it wasn't very hopeful Let's see if we can get another one There's a bit of fish on here she was snagged initially Just to come up this side Let's start pulling back A little bit of line so I think it's fair Circling like a cord. I should wrap it. Just 
Nice pollock that Phil. Yeah, the bigger they get, the more mature they get. Better ras, Phil. Pretty hard, the bigger they get, don't they?
back. And it's another rat. As good as the last one, incidentally. Back. It's just gone lunchtime. I have my lunch. Just uh, heading back up the road drift. Still up a bit. Tide hasn't slowed down. Fish it has. I've got my, my seal mate behind me somewhere. Probably doesn't help. Just picked up that small rest near the end of that drift. I'm going to try a different line. The direction of the tide flow has changed a little bit. It's taken me kind of in the shore. The fishing's died off a fair bit. Still got a decent drift, 0.7 somewhere. Did just have a take and didn't hook it properly. I'm just going to try something a little bit different. Because there's still so much tide, I can't really go down in lure size or weight, which is a shame because normally that would be my my go-to method when the fish are a bit more finicky. But instead I'm gonna try a slightly longer drift. So this is uncharted territory. I can feel the bottom, it's, it's not clean, so that's a good start. Bouncing along. You'll notice I don't really put much um, much action into these lures. I'm relying on the tide and the paddle tail to work itself. But I get a lot of luck from being pinned close to the bottom. So get the weight of the lure right. Colour doesn't always make that great a difference versus Wait for lure. And you do lose some gear with my little tactic, as some are about to find out. Live dangerously, lose gear. So you trace tied on. Now you probably already know this, but if you're wondering how to stop braid knots slipping. The trick is to dump the braid over. Works an absolute dream. And then you can do your regular top top blood or whatever, whatever it is you're, you're tying up with. I've got short monofilament or fluid carbon trace. And straight to my braid. definitely died off, so I think if something doesn't happen on this next drift, that might be me. But I think I'm going to put this on, which I think is a 360 GT. Did have one of these on earlier, and I lost it. So we'll see how we get on. We've had a good session, so I you know, anything is a bonus now. Last day, but if you're catching a few fish, one battery and a GoPro is not enough to bring out with you. Now, luckily, I'm out here fishing with Phil, and his YouTube channel is Another Angle. Make sure to drop him a subscribe. He fishes this reef quite a bit. There's quite a lot of mixed fishing. And Water and sea. Very interesting uh, material on there. So Phil uh, kindly loaned me some spare batteries because he's a pro compared to me. And I just bought my, um, my camera a few days ago. I have no idea whether you can hear me clearly or what the footage is like. I may never see the light of day if it's as awful as I imagine it would be. Um, 
I reckon three batteries for that session of a good few hours. Probably suggest a long drift, a paddle back up drift, because um, there's a gear on it and the last drift and tying a trace across the drift as well. So, it's a little bit exciting, I'll tell you. So, in amongst keeping an eye on my seal and an alarm going off on my sounder again. I managed to hook into this little glass. Excellent. Let me try right here. I'm not going all the way up to the top of the drift, but I can see fish on the ground. So let's see if I can hook one. Nothing. That's why I only really use the sound to find the ground rather than find the fish. Okay, this is my last drift because it's, it's dire now. I mean, this is sunset. Again, a nice tan. The tide is still running, 0.8, but fishing has died. Seal is still kicking about. Nice to be out though. Perfect way to spend the Friday. Beats work. Had some good fish, I'm well happy with that pollock. And and one of those cods was alright as well. He was probably just a good keeper, but back he went. Be interesting to see when the um, when the fresh run of cod come if we can get on this reef in the autumn whether there's any bigger specimens but I was quite impressed with the amount of wrasse we've picked up today. I, I thought they would be a bit of a bycatch, you know, a bit of an oddity. Um, but I can't get away from them today, I'm taking all sorts. And some of them go to a nice size, so they're a great fight. I guess the only thing I haven't had after this reef that is a shame is a ling, but a ling would obliterate my trace. I need to kind of target them. Say goodbye in case I don't turn you back on again. Thanks for watching.